you know, despite all the things that I might be going through, I try to look at it positively and say that there's always somebody that has it worse. There are some of you that are actually uh, Jets and Giants fans. And the thing with that is, is that you sit on your couch every Sunday like a fat bitch and you eat your Doritos also like a fat bitch. And you sit and you expect something to happen that's not going to happen. And that's your team to win a game. You've done that four Sundays now, both of you. And you are combined 0 for 8. And you'll do the same exact thing this weekend. You'll sit, you'll hope, you'll watch, and you'll pray that your team wins. And they just won't because they're not good. NFL Week 5 preview and predictions. One game down, 10 million to go. Hit the like button, subscribe, go nowhere else. Ladies and gentlemen... Oh, I am back. And we're going to talk about the NFL Week 5 here. We're going to do our preview and predictions. Not going to be a, a, a complete giant uh, preview and predictions video, uh, mainly because I don't really have the time so much right now to make a massive predictions video. But there's a lot of things that have been has been happening in and around the NFL uh, over the last week or so. Uh, the Titans, my Titans, obviously have been blasted by the coronavirus. And we were told that they were going to face potential disciplinary action for their uh, decisions in terms of not uh, respecting the, the COVID-19 protocols. The Jets potentially had uh, a, a test. Now they announced that everybody was negative and it was actually a false positive. Okay, that's that. Um, Patriots had some as well. The game last week between uh, New England and Kansas City was delayed till Monday, which then pushed Green Bay and Atlanta till 9 p.m. Um, as far as everything else goes, we personally, uh, are going to talk about every game that's coming up this week. Some games have been delayed. Some games have been moved. It's all over the place. Uh, but stay right here, as always. Uh, the first game we're going to talk about is LA and Washington. Uh, we're talking about the LA Rams and the Washington uh, football team. It's, it's getting me, it's getting become, uh, it's becoming so difficult to get out of that phase of saying uh, Washington and then saying um, Redskins. The LA Rams are actually 3-1. and one. Now, we didn't know what we were going to expect from this team coming into this season. There's been some, some good points. Daryl Henderson has been running the ball very good for the Rams, uh, and the Rams have been able to get some wins, some pretty, some not so pretty. Washington, on the other hand, has made some moves. Uh, Terry McLaurin has developed nicely for the Washington football team, but outside of that, there's really not too much going on. We are told that, from what I know, Dwayne Haskins is going to be benched this week. Uh, going into this game, we are looking at... Um, Kyle Allen starting. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kyle Allen started last year while uh, Cam Newton was hurt for the Panthers, and then everything kind of just fell out of place. Cam Newton was hurt. There was disagreements with the Panthers, all kinds of those kind of things, which which kind of just put, uh, which was pretty much the, the nail in the coffin and the casket of, of Cam Newton on, uh, on Carolina. What we get from Kyle Allen, we don't know. I would say the safe bet would be the Rams in this game. They're three and one. I uh, got to give them credit. There are some teams that are massively underperforming. There are some teams that are really overperforming. Um, you know, the Rams. I really don't know because some some nights they're on, some nights they're not really on at all. Um, I would go with the Rams to win this game. I still think the Washington Football Team, despite everything that they're trying to build around, they still have a lot to do and a lot to go. Uh, so I pick the Rams in this game. The next game is the Battle of Pennsylvania, if it is a battle. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles last week um, got their first win against the San Francisco 49ers, and they will now be heading to Pittsburgh to take on a Steelers team who is coming off of an unwanted bye. Uh, the Steelers team last week did not want to have a bye. Uh, the Titans were supposed to play, or Pittsburgh was supposed to play uh, Titans last week, but then the outbreak of COVID happened in Tennessee, and it forced the postponement of the game, which resulted in both teams having a bye week. Uh, now, Pittsburgh is coming off of an unwanted bye week. Philadelphia is coming off of a win. Who has more to play for? Um, Pittsburgh still hasn't lost a game. They're 3-0. I think Pittsburgh is overall a better team than Philadelphia. Philadelphia definitely has the names and weapons. Uh, but I'm not at a point where I trust Philadelphia, even though they're coming off of one win against a San Francisco 49ers team that didn't really have a quarterback going in. I can't sit here and tell you that I put that much faith into Philadelphia this week again. Uh, Pittsburgh's pass rush, self-explanatory. Uh, Pittsburgh, the only thing, the only disadvantage they may have is coming off of a bye. Um, but that's that's the only disadvantage they have. Um, outside of that, I would say Pittsburgh wins this game. Uh, definitely uh, has shown me a lot more than Philadelphia has this year. Philadelphia is 1-2-1. One, and one. Obviously, that one uh, tie was to Cincinnati, uh, which is Cincinnati's also third asterisk on their record. The next game we talk about is the Jets and the Cardinals. Sam Darnold last week, they played Denver and got smoked. The Jets and the Giants both look awful this year. I don't think I think it's going to be a while before anything like that changes. Um, 
Me, personally, I'll sit and I'll say this. The Jets will not win this game. The Jets are in for a, a season of real misery. And I genuinely believe that it is going to be real misery. Like, we're talking misery to the point of two wins at best. The Cardinals are 2-2, two and two, but despite being 2-2, two and two, they've shown you that they have made strides of improvement. DeAndre Hopkins obviously on board as well. The Jets are starting Joe Flacco this week. Uh, we don't know the extent of how bad Sam Darnold's shoulder injury actually is, but we do know that the Jets are going to be starting Sam Darn or excuse me, Joe Flacco. How you doing? They're going to start Joe Flacco on Sunday. Um, and you know what? What do they have to lose at this point? The team's 0-4, winless in September. Um, the Jets have absolutely nothing to lose, so if Joe Flacco is able to squeeze him out a win, go for it. Um, I still think they believe in Darnold as the long... If... Um, Sam Darnold got benched at some point because let's say Joe Flacco gets this win, then what happens? You know, the Jets are just a disaster. I'm going with Arizona to win this game. Joe Flacco, no Flacco, doesn't really matter. Next game is the AFC West Divisional matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders 2-2 two and two and the Kansas City Chiefs. Do I have any reason to believe that Kansas City's undefeated streak will come to an end? Not really. Uh, Las Vegas has shown that they've got an offense. They can upset. They upset the Saints a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Football. Outside of that, their defense is is there's a lot of questions that don't have answers on the defense and there's questions that i need answers to on the defense i don't have those answers right now and neither do we kansas city is kansas city um i think your safe bet will be to go with kansas city again again i i could see the game being a little bit closer than people would imagine but i don't really see kansas city dropping their streak this week i do not think kansas city will not go undefeated they will lose a couple of games but i don't think that the game that they lose is this week to las vegas uh, and that's where I'm going with. A lot of people, when I talk about this next AFC South matchup between Jacksonville and Houston, a lot of people are saying Houston. I said before the season, people were putting Houston on a pedestal that they didn't belong in. People were putting this team, oh, the Houston Texans are going to be this. They have a chance at the division. Never did I wince to think that. I thought the second DeAndre Hopkins fell off, the team went with him. Watson's great. David Johnson is all right. The team sorely misses DeAndre Hopkins. They still have receivers. That's the thing. Houston still has receivers, and they still have talent. Me, personally, I think Jacksonville wins this game. A lot of people are going to scratch their heads because I looked at every prediction on NFL, and they said that they think that Houston's going to win. Bill O'Brien has just been fired as head coach and GM. Uh, Houston Texans need a rebuild, and they need it fast. They need it fast. This team was in the playoffs last year, and now they are winless through September. For some reason, I think Jacksonville stuns it this year, this week, and I think Jacksonville wins this game. A lot of people are saying Houston, so that I guess that you could say that that would be my pick as an upset. I like some of the tools that Jacksonville has built around Minshew. I like James Robinson. I like their their star power or their explosive receiver power. So me personally, I'm going to go with Jacksonville to beat Houston, and that may be an upset. AFC North: Cincinnati Bengals and Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Joe Burrow is fun to watch. The Bengals uh, have looked a lot better this year so far. They're still 1-2-1. and one. They're still not making the playoffs, and we know this. And one thing we also know is that they will not beat the Ravens this Sunday. We should know that. We should have knew that a long time ago. Joe Burrow is getting a chance to go against a really good quarterback, and I have no reason to believe that Cincinnati would win this game. I would like to see Cincinnati make this a better game than people think. If Cincinnati were to get this win against Baltimore, I think that would be a huge upset. Do I see it happening? No, I don't. I really don't. Um... Baltimore should win this game. Baltimore's looked good. Not perfect. Their one loss was to Kansas City. And if that shows you who runs the AFC, that is what that did. Next game. A lot of division matchups this week. NFC South, Carolina, and Atlanta. Atlanta is 0-4. And as great as their offense is, they have had a miserable time holding a lead this year. And in all honesty, I think that this team has not been the same since their Super Bowl choke to the New England Patriots. They have all the star power. Okay. They have Todd Gurley, who hasn't been amazing, but he's been good enough. They're going to look for more from him. Julio Jones, Matt Ryan, offensive power like you wouldn't believe, but their defense has been a huge question mark for this team. And that's kind of where we're at right now with this uh, Atlanta Falcons team. Carolina, on the other hand, is 2-2, two and two, but I like what I've seen more from the Panthers than I've seen from the Falcons. I think a lot of people are saying Atlanta wins this game, and this may be another one where I think there's an upset. For some reason, I, I think that this is a really hard game to predict. I think if I had to put all my eggs into one basket, I would probably say... I would probably say... Blah, 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 blah. 
I was leaning towards Carolina, but I give Atlanta. Atlanta has to get it done. Atlanta has to get it done. I'm going with Atlanta to get their first win of the season. I was really pushing for Carolina, and then I just switched my mind, and that's how it works. Four o'clock slate games, Miami and San Francisco. San Francisco has been injury rattled. We don't know if Jimmy Garoppolo is coming back this week. Um, there probably will be updates on that. One of the things I want to mention before I continue is the Thursday night game between Chicago and Tampa Bay. Chicago looked, honestly, Chicago is starting to look a lot better. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with quarterback. I think the team itself is starting to play a lot better. Uh, they're not where they want to be, but I think that they're making strides to go in the right direction. Tampa Bay, on the other hand, um, mixed bag. Mixed bag. Miami and San Francisco. Uh, assuming Jimmy Garoppolo's back, I'm going to go with the 49ers to get back in the win column. But I think that Miami has the chance to make this a really good game. And a lot of people would call me crazy if I said that one year ago. But that's how I'm feeling. The next game is probably a game where you should stay away from if you're a betters man. And that would be the New York Giants and Dallas Cowboys. Now on paper, it would be easy to sit here and say that the Cowboys should literally obliterate the Giants. But for some reason, this seems like the type of game that the Giants would actually have a legitimate chance at winning. Um, me personally, I'm going with the Cowboys. Um, I do think that the Giants have a very good chance to win because this would be the type of game they would win. The Cowboys would go in. The Cowboys are 1-3, and three, much better team than the Giants. And the Giants would say it's a division matchup, and they don't have anything to lose. The Giants are winless. They have nothing to lose whatsoever. I'm going with the Cowboys, but I would not be shocked to see the Giants upset. But the Cowboys are, are probably going to have a field day on this Giants defense, even though their secondary has improved a lot. Colts, Browns. Browns are 3-1. and one. Yes, they are 3-1. and one. They are silently one of the teams that is actually doing a little bit better than people had thought, uh, despite I think their one loss was to Baltimore where they got rattled. The Colts, on the other hand, are doing okay as well. This is another game that's really hard to predict. I think these 430 slated games are, are a little bit hard to predict because we don't know who's coming from what. This is a game to keep your eyes on because I don't, I just don't know. I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Me personally, it's, a, it's about who you trust more. Do I trust Phillip Rivers or Baker Mayfield more? I'm going to go with the Colts to win this game. I know that that may be a shocker to some, but I just think that I would put more faith into Phillip Rivers. I think that this could be a really good game, but I'm going with the Colts to win this game. Sunday night game, Minnesota and Seattle. Listen, Minnesota is better than a team that's 1-3, but in all honesty, they're 1-3. Seattle, Russell Wilson has been firing on all cylinders, and I don't think that it stops Sunday night. I go with Seattle to beat Minnesota. We have two Monday night games and a Tuesday night game. The first Monday game is at 5 p.m., Obviously, with the surplus of the New England Patriots test, it had to be uh, re, re, uh, redone. And it's Denver taking on New England. These used to be some classic games a couple of years ago with Peyton Manning on the Broncos. So many times we've seen these guys battle in the playoffs, and we've seen the blood between the Broncos and Patriots. Um, the Broncos are starting... I don't know who they're starting as quarterback. But regardless, assuming Cam Newton is back, New England will win this game. Um, I do think that New England uh, desperately missed Cam Newton last week. I can tell you that uh, because the two quarterbacks they had backing him up didn't do jack shit. Brian Hoyer, and I never like to come for someone like that, but Brian Hoyer is really, it's just, it won't happen with him. And Jared Stidham did a little bit better, but not much either. The team desperately needs Cam Newton. Assuming Cam Newton comes back, I expect New England to easily take this game. The second Monday night game, the original slated game, is the LA Chargers and New Orleans Saints. Do New Orleans Saints are 2-2. Two two leaving some people scratching their heads. Michael Thomas hasn't really played. The LA Chargers are 1-3, but let's talk about a team that's 1-3 that is playing a lot better than a team that is 1-3, and, and that's the LA Chargers. Justin Herbert has, has had to go against Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, and this week will be Drew Brees. And Justin Herbert is, is developing very nicely as the Chargers quarterback. I do think the Chargers like what they see from him, and I think that over in due time, the L.A. Chargers will start to develop into a team that is really going to start to see some success behind Justin Herbert, uh, continue to build the weapons around him, and I think that this Chargers team next year, maybe not this year, but next year could be a team that you really need to watch. But I'm going with the... I was just about to say Saints, but I really don't... I don't know. I'm going with the Saints to still win this game. I don't think the Saints are going to fall below 500, but I think the Chargers make this game interesting, and I think that that's what matters. 
They want to see the team compete, be in games, and that's what's going to happen. Final game of the week, Titans and Bills. Oh, man, as a Titans fan, as a Titans fan, we were getting obliterated by the coronavirus. Our game with Pittsburgh got canceled. Canceled. Our game Sunday was in doubt. And it was moved all the way to Tuesday after more positive tests came in. And now we're getting a lot of negative tests. Buffalo is 4-0. Josh Allen is on cloud nine. And he's an early MVP candidate. I love my Titans. I love the Bills. I think this is going to be a good game. But I just don't know if I trust us against Buffalo. So I'm going to go with Buffalo to win this game. Uh, Josh Allen is on a different atmosphere right now. And the Buffalo Bills are just playing amazing football right now. And I think as good as my Titans are, I, I'm really looking forward to it. But I am going to go with Buffalo. And that's going to wrap it up. That is right, 15 minutes or less, your NFL Week 5 preview and predictions. Hit the like button, subscribe. Don't anybody ever go anywhere else.